We got five of the weirdest features built into Mac OS that nobody uses or nobody even knows about. Let me show you what they are. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what I wanted to do in this video is I really wanted to go through five of these really weird features built into Mac OS. And I don't know, some of them have reasons, some of them may not even have reasons, you tell me. And I want you to hear the, all five of them and then come back and tell me at the end, did you know any of these? Did you know some of these? I think you'll know one or two of them, but not all of them, I almost guarantee that. They're so weird, some of them, that most people just don't even know they exist in Mac OS. So sit back and relax, I'm just gonna share my screen here and we're gonna go through all five of these wacky features. All right, so number one, number one's kind of weird because it's called background sounds, and it's almost like a nature sound on your Mac that they built into it for some reason, right? I don't even know why they did this, but what you wanna do is you wanna go up to your Apple icon up here and click on system settings. So just open up your system settings here. Then what you wanna do is go to accessibility right here. See it? So click on accessibility. Then right here, you wanna click on audio, see that? And what comes up right here is background sounds. It says, plays background sounds to mask unwanted environmental noise. These sounds can minimize distractions while you're working on your Mac. So peaceful, right? Anyways, you get the idea. So let me just see, I have rain. You can choose different sounds. It's got like rain, stream, ocean, dark noise, bright noise, balanced, all that kind of weird stuff. And uh, what you do is you just basically set the sound here and then you just turn it on right here. And let me just turn it on. And listen to this for a second. Let me go over here. You're going to hear some kind of weird buzzing, but hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. I'm pretty sure you can. It's got some birds chirping and stuff in the background. I'm going to turn that down because it's so annoying. So anyways, you can actually have that playing in the background of your Mac. I don't know why you just wouldn't open up YouTube and use this. So that's wacky kind of feature number one. Does anyone even know that existed? All right, wacky feature number two. This is probably the most useful. It's not that wacky, but I just never see it being used. So what you wanna do is if you go down, let me just share my screen here. If you go down and open up Finder, here's a Finder window. Most people have list view here. So all your stuff, all your folders are listed like this. This is usually the, the view that you have. If you right click in here, you're not, you won't be able to do what I'm gonna show you here. What you have to do is you have to go to icon view. See this little square up here? You wanna click on icon view right there. It's gonna bring up all your icons. That's number one. Number two is you wanna make sure you have right click enabled and then you wanna right click somewhere in here like this and then go down to show view options right there. See that? After that, you want to open up this box right here. I'm just going to stick it over here so you can see it. At the very bottom, though, it says background, right? So you can actually go color, and then you just select this little box right here and click on it. And then over here, you can change, look at that, you can change the background of what you want on that folder. There's a little slider. You can change it to any color you want. I guess people use this to kind of designate what folders are for. If it's really important files, maybe make it red or something, or if it's financial stuff, make it red or green. I have no idea. Anyways, this is kind of interesting. I like to leave my stuff white for now, but anyways, you guys get the idea. That one's probably pretty useful. I just don't see people using it all the time. All right, this next one's even more wacky, I think. It's called Announce the Time. So if you actually want to announce, have the Mac announce the time to you, let's just say every 15 minutes, half hour, or an hour, it'll actually talk to you and say, hey, this is the time. I think it's made to keep you kind of up to date on the time and so you don't lose track of time and stuff. It's just really weird. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Apple icon, click on System Settings again. We open up System Settings very easily. So over here on the right left-hand side, I'm sorry, Control Center. See that there? So this time we're going to click on Control Center. And then inside of here, you scroll down, down to clock and clock options. See it right here? So inside of here, down somewhere in here, it says announce the time. See it right here? Way at the bottom, it's turned off. So what you wanna do is click that on and see, look at this. The interval is gonna be on the hour right there and then you can customize the voice. If you click this, it's gonna give you some different options. Use system voice and you get all these different voices, you know, Fred, Junior, Kathy, Nikki, all that kind of stuff if you want it. You can adjust the volume. But if you want it to be announced on the hour, on the half hour, or the quarter hour, you set it here again. And that's all there is to it right there. I'm going to turn it off. But since I'm not on the quarter hour, half hour, I can't really, can't really show you because it's, I have to wait 15 minutes or so. But it's not something you can have it just happen. It actually has to happen at the time of the clock. So it'll just announce the time to It's that simple. Just a feature that keeps going until you turn it off. So you tell me, is that really worth it? I don't know why Apple does some of this stuff. All right, so number four, I think, is one of the most useful ones, actually, that nobody ever uses, all right? And on Sonoma, they turn this feature off, so you have to turn it back on. Let me show you how to do that. You go up to your Apple icon, same as always, go to System Settings here. So this time on the left-hand side over here, you have to go all the way down to Keyboard. See it down here? So you want to click on Keyboard down here. And then once we're in Keyboard, let me actually see here, what am I looking for? I actually want to go ahead and click on Keyboard Shortcuts right here at the very top. See it right there? So click on that. Now inside of here, it's going to open up another menu on the left-hand side. See it here? Click on Services. And then finally over here, you have to click on this little arrow for Text. See it right there? So click on Text. It's gonna give you all these different options, right? 
You want to scroll all the way down here and see how summarize is not checked right there. You want to check that, all right? And then click done. So that's how you set it up, all right? That, that's the first part. And we can close that down. Now, here's the cool part. What you want to do, the way you use summarize is you open up Safari. And let's say you want to write an article for school or let's say you needed to read an article or something and you didn't read the whole thing and you have a class coming up or something. Maybe it's a whole book or something. You just basically select the text. Let's, I'm just going to select this text, History of the United States. And you right click on it. Make sure you have right click enabled. And then go down to services, all right? See it right there? And since we enable that, it'll show up over here, summarize. See it down there? It won't be there unless you did that first step. You need to do that first step. Click on summarize and look at this. So now over here, it's gonna give you a summary of that article. Um, let me see if I can open this up. So there's the summary, but not only that, you know, if you want it to be a shorter summary, you can move this slider this way. So it's gonna give you just as much information. It's gonna say like, this is, I'm only gonna give you a short summary. This is what we think is the most important thing of the article. If I want a long summary, I go the other direction. So if you have a full like novel or something or a book or something, you can go ahead and slide this around and get as much information or as little information. It uses an algorithm kind of to figure out what in the world is the, su the best summary of the article. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to save this, but I just don't know how good that is or how it works really well. But you can summarize, you know, big things if you want and just move the slider and see how much information you want in there. It's going to look through it, summarize it for you. I think that could help people if it actually works well. I haven't tested it myself too much, but it does work in some cases. I've tried it a few times. Overall, pretty good. You tell me. Do you know about that one? All right, this last one's kind of wacky too because I'm trying to scratch my head on why this is even needed, I guess. But I guess it might be. So let's just zoom. Let me just do this. Let's go into same page over here. And let's just say we're actually, I just clicked on a link, but let's just say we're going to select something. Like let's just select this line here, right? And we're going to do control C to copy. So we just copied that. But let's say we're working later on and we just need to know what's, what's in our clipboard. What did I copy before? I would just paste it onto a you know, document and see what it was, right? But if you don't want to do that, there's another way to get that information. What you want to do is you want to go down to Finder down here, open up Finder, and inside, you just have to have Finder open, which is really weird because you wouldn't think it would be here. Then you go up to View up here. I'm sorry, Edit. See that? I'm sorry. It's got to be Edit, not View, Edit. And then go down to here to Show Clipboard. So for some reason, it's in there. And then I just copied along with their Associated Islands, America's Cover 8%. See it right there? So that's what I copied. It's in this clipboard. There's where you can find it. I just don't know, like I'm trying to think why you need that. I guess you could just always copy it into a text document to see what you have there. It's weird to me, I guess. It's something that Apple built in. There's so many features like this. This is just one of them that's wacky and crazy. Um, you tell me though, what's the use for that? All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video, but definitely put in the comments, how many of these did you know? Did you know all five of them? Did you know three of them? I just wanna make videos like this where people may not know these, and I think it's kinda of cool to showcase some, even though some of them are pretty much useless, right? You tell me. I, I don't know what the, the clipboard thing, I mean, I guess I kinda of know what it's for. I mean, the folder thing is really important, obviously. The summarize could be really important, all those things, but the nature sounds going. I just don't know why you'd open up YouTube and play it in the background, I guess. Maybe if you're not, you don't have internet access and you want that noise coming in, that's the only thing I can think of. But anyways, you guys tell me, did you guys even know that existed? I mean, did, did Apple really built in this kind of weird sounds into your system so you can listen and just kind of meditate while you're working? It's just, just wacky to me and weird. So anyways, post in the comments if you know these and I'll wrap up the video. I have videos on all different products and you know I do product showcases. I do a ton of things on computers and Macs and everything. Subscribe to the channel. I'm a single, you know, single uh, person that produces these. I'm married, but I'm a single person that produces these. And uh, at the end of the day, it takes a lot of work and I have another job and stuff. So it just, I just want to get people to, to look at this content eventually and help me out. So subscribe if you can, hit the like button, and we will talk to you in the next one. Peace.